Apple's white iPhone gone for good this year. New pens have the next generation iPhone with a different stainless steel band and our thoughts on Apple's built-in SIM card project and why they're not so good. All this and more coming up right now. Hello everybody, I'm Jaime Rivera and welcome to the Pocket Nail iReview, the show where we go through all this week's cool and the not so cool inside the world of Apple's iOS devices. After practicing for a while how to say Ponage Tool instead of Ponage Tool, let's start off with the cool. Rumors have Apple working on a new pen that will allow nitride coating to go through the stainless steel band of the iPhone's antenna. Why? Well, because the antenna is not so good, we already know that. So, will it come on the iPhone 5 or probably the white iPhone, which every year it comes out? We'll never know. We'll see what happens. More rumors have Apple holding a secret summit for iOS developers as of next week on Tuesday. And, well, the rumors are that it has a lot to do with Apple trying to talk developers into bringing more quality into their apps as Android gets better at this. Now, we're actually not going to speculate this. We actually think it has a lot to do with Apple working on developers bringing more apps to the Mac with Mac OS X Lion, but we'll see what happens in the end. Again, this was supposed to be a secret, but we already know about it. Well, xda-developers.com, which is a really cool site that brings a lot of tweaks and hacks to the Android and Windows mobile community, just confirmed that they launched the sister site called iPhoneDevelopers.com to bring tweaks and hacks to the iPhone community. Really cool. We really expect them to have a lot of success. There are a lot of cool things that you could do with the iPhone once you hack it, once you jailbreak it. Let's hope they bring new things to the table. You know, I have nothing wrong against the Dev Team blog, but it gets to be a little techy sometimes. So here's a new approach to tweaks and hacks from here. On. Continuing on with the cool, PayPal just launched version 3.0 of their iOS application, which offers a couple of enhancements. One of this has to do with the fact that you're now going to receive push notifications whenever you get any sort of activity in your account, meaning if you send money, receive money, or anything that happens with your account, which is really cool. Now, since we're getting close to the not so cool section, one of the things we're not really sure what to make of is the fact that also sellers are now going to be offered the opportunity to give you deals and information to your device whenever your location is showing them that you're close to them. Really not know what to make out of this. Let's see what happens in the end. Alright, so that's it for the cool. Let's continue with the not so cool. One of the things that's really got us skeptical is the fact that people have just found a new iOS 4.1 bug that is actually also being ported to iOS 4.2 beta as of yet that will allow you to actually be able to dial phone calls whenever your phone is locked. If you're quick enough to be able to actually go into the emergency dialer of the emergency call section of when your phone's password locked and you dial a phone number and you're actually quick enough to press the send key and at the same time press the power button, you'll actually be taken to the dialer and this will allow you to make any sort of calls even though whenever you finish the call you'll be able to be taken back to the portion of your phone being locked. Well, one of the really not so cool parts about this is obviously your phone is locked because you want people to be away from it. But, you know, one of the worst parts about this is that they've already also found that it's ported to iOS 4.2 beta. And we really don't know if Apple's going to be able to make something out of this before November, whenever, you know, iOS 4.2 is supposed to be released. So, we'll see what happens in the end. Let's hope Apple takes care of this because it's really not cool at all. Next up, the white iPhone 4. First it was sometime next month whenever the black iPhone 4 was released, then it was sometime within July, then afterwards it was sometime within 2010, and now it's going to be sometime in spring 2011. That's right, the white iPhone 4 says goodbye to 2010. We're not even sure if this is actually going to be the iPhone 5. It's really lame, really pathetic, the fact that Apple can't really figure out how to get this production working. And, you know, to be honest with you, why don't you just cancel the production, man? I mean, people are really losing a lot, a lot of credibility in you. Anyways. Alright, so continuing on with the not so cool, Apple just partnered with a company called Gilmato to create a chipset that will include the SIM card of the next generation iPhone 4 within the device and not being able to be swappable just like we know GSM technology to be. 
Why is this not so cool? Well, first of all, Apple's saying that they want to control the whole user experience, and they don't want you to go to carriers to be able to activate your iPhone. You can just do it in an Apple store, but we're not really sure that's really what they're up to. We're really thinking that they don't want people to be able to unlock their phones. I mean, one of the cool things about GSM technology is the fact that you can actually swap your SIM cards, you can unlock your phones, use them with other carriers, you can travel abroad and probably not get roaming where you're going, but you could probably pay for a go-to card or pay per use card and actually just use your iPhone there as long as you're able to unlock it. But you know, what will happen whenever your card is built into the phone? A lot of Verizon and Sprint users have a lot of complaints with the CDMA service because they can't travel abroad, their phone doesn't roam, and it seems that this is could probably be the future for the next generation iPhone. That's it for today's iReview. Thank you very much for watching. Any questions or comments you have about this video, hit us up on the poster on youtube.com slash pocketnowvideo or twitter.com slash pocketnowtweets. That's it for now.